Hey friends, on today's episode, I'm going to show you how I take art and I turn it into fabric for my chairs. Stay tuned. So one of my most favorite things to do that I came up with back in 2018 was to take some of my daughter's art and put it on the back of my chair. So you may have seen my Frida chairs that I've done in the past. And I'm going to show you my process for how I took her painted artwork that she gave me. And I collected these over a series of special holidays and birthdays and Christmas and things like that that she had painted for me and decided to put them on the back side of my chair. So here's my process for doing it. So the latest one that she did for me is this one. This was my more blonde Frida that we did. And it was about a year ago that I had her paint this for me. So she just painted it on her little board. And I took this fabric and printed it out on canvas um, material. And we put it on the back side of one of my chairs. And there's two different apps that I have used successfully to do this. So let's do a little deep dive and let me show you what this looks like when I'm actually doing this online. One of my most favorite places to print my own fabric is through Bags of Love. Um, Spoonflower is another app that you can use. They have um, the same kind of platform where you can print all kinds of things. Bags of Love is what I've used recently. Um, they have all kinds of things. You can get photo gifts. Um, if you are looking to print something on a tote or a pillowcase or you know um, a, an iPhone you know cover you can do all of that here I'm going to go over to the fabric and leather printing and I'm going to print my own fabric now I'm saying all of this to to say just to remind you that it needs to be your own art or you know you need to get permission if you are printing someone else's art um, if it's a family member I'm sure they'll give you permission but I just go to here the custom fabric printing and I'm going to start my design and it really leads you through how to do this I'm going to upload my own image to the fabric and so I'm just going to begin here and um, first of all what I'm going to do is I'm going to select my fabric type now there are so many different fabric types on here what I love the most is woven canvas it's thick enough for the back side of my chair um, I have printed on velvet as well if I have a Frida pillow that I print on velvet that's really really beautiful um, and I typically do that on spoon flower um, but I have used the woven canvas from bags of love and I really like it so when I get that on there, I go over here and I add my image. So I had uploaded, and I've already done it here, but I'm going to do it again from my computer. I'm going to upload from my downloads where I put airdropped it. I'm going to upload my image of my Frida, and I'm going to select that one that I just uploaded, and I'm going to add one image to my product. So here you have it right here. And um, what I could do with this is kind of moving it over if I want. Um, and I could say, hey, I want a repeat pattern. So again, I would use my mouse over here and click on the pattern. And um, then, you know, I could have a do not repeating. I can do a half drop pattern which would look like this, which really wouldn't make sense for what I'm doing. I could do a basic pattern where I'm going to repeat it over and over. And this does a pretty good job, except I am cutting off part of her head over here. So my design is a little too big to do that. I could do a mirror pattern where I kind of change her face up. You can see how, you know, the mirrored pattern changes her face and flips the design. Um, but I can also go back to just do not repeat and um, I could say, okay, for this, um, I'm going to make it a little smaller. So what, what you want to do whenever you are looking to size is you want to look at how big is this image. I see right now this is about 18, uh, 16 inches tall by, oh, it looks to be about 2, 4, 6, uh, 1, 2, 3, oh, sorry. Yeah, about 18 inches tall by about 14 inches wide. And this typically would work for me. I'm going to go ahead and make it a little bigger. Now, if I want it to be smaller, you just size it that way by dragging and dropping. So here I have 20 inches tall by about almost 15 inches wide. Now, when I am looking at a chair, I am measuring that top 
open area where I'm going to be putting this image. And I want to make sure it's going to fit, that it's not going to be too short. Uh, but you also have to think about, is it going to be too big? And if it is too big, if 20 inches is too small, which it very well might be, I could just shrink it up just a hair to make it a little over 18 inches. And then I might want to move it just a little bit um, down. And this over here, these little, um, these little controls over here can help you move it. Uh, the way you want it to be. Okay, so I kind of like this because it's giving me some leeway on all sides um, of my design. I'm going to scooch it over just a little bit over here, and there we have the right kind of size. So if I wanted to, I could repeat this pattern in the basic pattern, and that way I know I'm going to get the same size. Even though that other one is a little cut off, um, it's going to give me one really good image and possibly two off of this page. And why not print two if I can? Um, and so this is basically how I do it. And now it's ready to print. Now I could just take that one image and upload another one of those same images if I want to. But what I have found when I'm trying to stretch it on the back of a chair, if I have white on the edge and the border of that picture, Sometimes it might show. So it's kind of good to go ahead and duplicate your image so that if I have a little bit that kind of uh, is a little too short, it's at least going to show the pink, the same color pink background that I have. And then it's ready to just preview and buy. And so I basically just go in here. It's telling me it's very good quality. That's what you want to make sure of. And most of the time, the pictures that you take on your phone are going to be great quality if you have an updated phone. And then I just proceed to purchasing it. And it's going to give you all kinds of choices. Do you want to put it on a product? I just want fabric printing. Um, and I put it in my basket. And of course, I have a couple different ones here that I've uploaded. And I can go in and just purchase that um, fabric for the back side of my chair or for a pillow if that's what I'm going to make. Isn't it so much fun to be able to use your own art or a loved one's art and put it on fabric for like pillows or chairs like I do? It makes your work really unique. If you have any questions for me, put them down in the comments below and let me know what you thought about this episode. Was it helpful? Are you able to follow along? If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so and like this episode because it helps me in the ratings on YouTube. Until next week, friends, I hope you have a great week. Bye-bye.